time. It's free to download in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Earlier, we shared retired Omaha police officer David Campbell's memories from May 6, 1975. That day, he drove alongside a tornado to provide real-time information, which undoubtedly saved lives. David told us one story, which you did not see earlier. That's coming up in a moment. First, here's Joseph with the timeline of that day. May the 6, 1975 was a warm and muggy day for Omaha. Those that had lived in the city for a while knew the air had that feel to it. The Weather Service agreed, and at 12.39 p.m., a tornado watch was issued for the city, meaning conditions could be favorable for a tornado. Storms began developing around 2 p.m., and a severe thunderstorm warning was issued for parts of Douglas County for large hail. Two hours later, at 4.14, a tornado warning was issued for the metro due to a sighting of a possible tornado near Gretna. This warning gave the city nearly 20 minutes of lead time. The funnel cloud was reported at 4.33 p.m. near 132nd and Q Street. It touched down shortly thereafter, dealing its first significant blow near 96th and Q. Right at 4.35 p.m., where clocks and apartments were stopped at that exact time. Five minutes later at 4.40, the tornado was crossed Interstate 80 between 84th and 72nd Street now moving from a northeast direction and turning almost due north, paralleling 72nd. One minute later, Westgate Elementary School was hit. At 442, the tornado hits Bergen Mercy Hospital, dealing it a significant blow. Just to the east, the tornado narrowly misses the Exarban racetrack, where thousands of people were attending a local horse race at the time. At 443, the tornado crosses Pacific near 72nd, at 444, it smashes into the Nebraska Furniture Mart, dealing heavy damage. By 445, it crosses Dodge Street, scraping the Crossroads Shopping Center. Continuing almost due north, Creighton Prep was hit at 447 p.m. By 449, it crosses Blondo and 72nd, and at 451, it crosses over Maple and 72nd. Finally, after being on the ground for over 25 minutes, the tornado lifts over Benson Park, after a nine-mile path through the city.